Hey, what is up guys? It is Slick or Slick Mafia back again with another video. And in this one, I've got my good buddy Salvage1009 Marcel in the house with me. And, um, you know, right before we uh, were recording this video, we're working on our J Roar disc track. Uh, just kidding, we actually weren't. But um, yeah, so if you want to see a J Roar disc track, uh, Salvage, you know, was tweeting some, you know, some tweets about J Roar that were kind of funny. So we decided, well, maybe we'll do a diss track. So if we get 500 retweets on the tweet, then uh, we'll do it. So what do yeah, you you're bringing out, you're bringing out your rap god, aren't you? Like yeah, enough. yeah. He called me the rap god in his roast video on us, and we never made a roast video about him. So it's only fair, and it's 2018. You know, it's mm -hmm. you know diss track year. Uh, this is what oh, yeah. we do. You know, uh, so. Ooh, we'll see we're how it goes. Heat. We're coming in with the heat. Oh, Jay Roar, you better fucking watch out with your Twitch. 100%. 100%. Um, so anyway, <laughs> for this video, though, we wanted to talk about the future of the Arkhamverse, specifically giving the context of what W Montreal may or may not be doing. So as we know, they're working on a Damian Wayne game that was canceled for one reason or another. I think that the negative feedback from fans certainly played a role in it. But more importantly, I want to talk about more of the future and actually, actually you know, look beyond this game into the future of the Arkhamverse. And when we're thinking about the game that they're making right now, I do believe that it is prior to Batman Arkham Knight. In other words, it's not following it because that would be very difficult to do. And I sort of talked about this in my last video. I don't know if you saw it, Salvage. But I was talking about how it's weird because at surface level, on a surface level, it looks like Rocksteady left the Arkham series open to a sequel because of the ambiguous Nightfall Protocol ending. But I think in reality, it's actually pretty clear cut what happened. And they're very, very clear that unless someone wants to make a video with this, like, or make a game with this Scarecrow weird batman character then you can't really do a sequel to arkham knight you know <laughs> yeah it's entirely po i mean it's entirely impossible to really do it in my opinion like it, it the fact that rocksteady kind of just left it closed like in the way they ended it with the nightfall protocol it doesn't seem like you can do much else with the character of batman in this arkhamverse after arkham knight and, you know, maybe if Batman or Bruce Wayne didn't fake his death and it was just a Batman character going around, maybe you could do it. But with Bruce Wayne killing himself and the identity of Batman being completely a mystery to the public right now, I don't think it's possible to really have a Batman game unless you completely ruin the ending of Arkham Knight. Right. So it appears that they're doing the Court of Owls as the main villain for this game, which is really cool. Uh, it's the mm -hmm. first time we've ever had it in the game. They did it in Gotham. It's a very new villain uh, or sort of organization um, established in 2011 with the new 52. So it's a very, very new thing. So let me ask you this. What is, from W Montreal, the thing that you're most excited about for this game? Even though we don't know the specifics of it per se, we know that, obviously, uh, we think that Bruce Wayne is starring in it now. But uh, either way, the Court of Owls are starring. So what is the aspect that you're most excited for? whether it be the Court of Owls or other villains. And what is the aspect of it, or an aspect of it, that you're really concerned about or kind of fearful of? Uh, the one thing I, I guess I am really excited for, and actually there's like a few things, is the fact that the developers are super excited for this game and the fact that they're talking about new features and stuff. And even with the Court of Owls being in the, in the game, I can see them doing really cool stuff with the story as well. But like, I think overall... This game is going to be something different from what we've seen in any Arkham game. And the developers saying how excited they are and how they, they are changing a bunch of stuff and how systems are working harmoniously together. Like, I, I don't know if you saw the tweet from, I think it was Patrick who was talking about Redacted, but he was talking about how they just made, like, a huge uh, progress on the game and basically how they made two systems work together. So I'm excited to see what what they're working on in terms of gameplay as well and in terms of story. So overall, I think that they, they have my attention right now. Yeah, Patrick is a super nice guy. He's actually DM me um, saying that he watches the videos and he enjoyed uh, enjoyed the videos. So if you're oh, watching this, awesome. Patrick, shout out. Um, so anyway, he you're right. They've been tweeting a lot about how they're confident, and I, I guess in some sense that's kind of typical for a game. No one's going to be vocally saying, like, oh, our game's going to be shit. But at the same mm -hmm. point, I think that there is some degree of excitement and electricity around the game because they've gone through so many iterations of it that at this point you know i'm sure they're confident with what they're doing i think that they've borrowed from their previous ideas of the project that failed 
and they're working towards something that is really promising. I think for me, when I think about this game, a lot of people don't want to see the Joker. I understand it. Mm -hmm. He's been in previous games. And even though if Talon, you know, the, one of the leaders of the Court of Owls, took off his mask and it was the Joker, <laughs> you know, I'm not advocating for that at all. But I think that the Joker, and if he were to be in the game, which I think that he might not be because of how outwardly negative sort of the feedback has been of the Arkham series, that they've utilized the Joker too much. I really disagree, though, because when you look at the Arkham games, it's really actually... A story of the duality and sort of contradicting nature of the Joker and Batman and every game really is about that duality of their identities and how they contrast one another Asylum City and Knight you could argue that the Joker is the main villain of Arkham Knight even though he's not even in the game you know you think about Scarecrow well I mean he's at surface level on a surface level the main villain of the game but realistically it's about that inner psychological turmoil and there's a yeah. reason that he's the last villain that you defeat, right? Once you throw the Joker into the vault, the game's over in that sense, right? So it's really, it, and Arkham Origins is no different. So I totally understood the decision to make the Joker the main villain at Arkham Origins. And I would understand doing that again here. Maybe not making him the main villain because it would be really nice to see other villains. And you think about Arkham City, the Joker's not really the main villain of that game per se. It's kind of a... A bunch of different ones but i think you could make the case that he's really not necessarily the main villain of that game in my opinion honestly with the joker arkham asylum he's definitely the main villain i mean there's no if answer buts about that he's the main guy that puts all of this into action in arkham city it's hugo strange and ra's al ghul who are in essentially somewhat the main villains but the last villain that you take out in the game the one that gives you the most emotional impact is the joker Right. in that way so i i would say that the joker in a way in is way more memorable than hugo strange and racial ghoul in arkham city and we interacted with him way more in arkham city and his actions somewhat led to uh the development of arkham city so and then in arkham knight i would even go as far as say he is the main villain if it wasn't for him there would have been multiple occasions where batman would have finished the mission if it wasn't for joker messing around with his mind and i guess you could say that scarecrow but it kind of does say that it is the joker's blood as well from arkham city so it is the joker who did all that uh, it, all around i think that the joker has been overused a lot and i hope that they do still use him in the next game but not to the extent that they did for arkham origins I hope that they don't do what they did with Arkham Origins, where they're like, yeah, 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 Joker's just a side villain. Don't worry about <laughs> it. He's a side villain. And then halfway through the game, he pulls off the mask, and it's like Black Mask was just not even in the game the entire time. It was just a Joker. It's just, come on, that was kind of ridiculous, especially when you market him as the main villain, uh, Black Mask, the main villain the entire time. I think the Joker just needs to be put into the background. The Court of Owls needs to be put on top for now. And then maybe the Joker can have some involvement, but nothing too big. Yeah, so that's one thing that I think is really interesting, looking towards the future of where the Arkham games can go from here. And I think that you can certainly add to this universe. There's so much potential here. It's one of the most iconic Batman universes of all time. And it's really recent, you know, in the grand scheme of things, of a character that yeah. is, you know, brought forth in the 1940s, it, right? It's not, it's not even 10 years old yet. Exactly. But it still has had such a memorable impact on this character's mythos. Mm -hmm. So when you think about sort of rebooting, not the Arkhamverse in particular, but kind of just abandoning it and going in a new direction, I think that that's something that could be worth considering after this game in particular, if it is a part of the Batman Arkhamverse. So I think that that's something that they could look to because you are kind of inherently limited with the fact that you can't make a sequel to Arkham Knight. It's just not really feasible when you consider that the way that that game ended. And you're looking at this game, it's probably not going to be a sequel to Arkham Knight. It looks like it's going to be an Arkham Origins type sequel. So it's going to be kind of like Arkham Origins 2. That's what it looks like at this point, right? So I think that they could really look to actually, you know, W Montreal seeing their own Batman trilogy sort of starting fresh. And I don't know that this game is going to be that, but it's something that they could consider in the future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think that if they were to go into that 
direction. Abandoning the Arkham games in general would be a good decision and just renaming the Batman games in a way that would just make it seem like it was, it's still like recognizable. So instead of like Batman Arkham, it's like Batman Gotham. And and what I actually said on stream the other day, I know you weren't there because you're never at my stream slick. <laughs> What Shot I said on my yeah, what I said on my stream the other day was uh, since Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight all related to Arkham in some way, shape, or form. Arkham Asylum took place in Arkham Asylum City, same thing, and Arkham Knight was somewhat because of the events of Arkham City and Arkham Knight leading up to Arkham Knight. You know what I mean? Yep. Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but if this one's going to be a more you know underground. Court of Owls story where it's like, whoa, it's this, it's the history of Gotham. Why not just change the entire game to Batman Gotham blank, you know, and instead of like Batman Arkham. Now we're actually in Gotham and we're actually relating to Gotham villains and we're going to see more of Gotham throughout the game. It would just be a, a reasonable idea to just reboot the entire thing with Batman Gotham. No, I totally understand it. Arkham Knight really tried to sell it that this is the first game actually in Gotham, but it really felt very limited. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it really wasn't because when you think about even the – there's like two skyscrapers in the whole map and then you look out and then you see the whole city, right? You can yep. see it and you can – if you use my uh, trademarked tricks to get out – actually, they're not tra <laughs> my trademark by me. But anyway, it, you know, you can get out of the map and actually explore the other part of Gotham and that's where we really wanted to play. But you're right because it's everything's been limited it's been asylum this very very compact which is fine for that story there's nothing wrong with that like there's nothing when you're playing asylum where you're saying like oh i wish i could be in gotham right now uh the same thing with arkham city i would i would personally argue but with night you think about it like we've never really had this game where we can just free roam around gotham We've never yeah. had it. And you look at Spider-Man games, not to compare, but they've had that for, like, literally, you know, decades, right? Mm -hmm. Where you can free roam around Spidey City in this large world. And we've never, we've just never had it with the Arkham game, or excuse me, with just Batman games more broadly. So if they were to go in that direction, what would you want to see? What would be some of the things that you would want to have in terms of villains, in terms of the free roam app, we sort of, I think okay. we're agreeing on the Gotham thing. What other things yeah. would you like to see? I, I want to see a, a bat cave and I want to see a goddamn customizable, all right? A customizable bat cave would be dope with customizable bat bikes or batmobiles or whatever vehicle they have. That would like be Like if badass. they put it in the game, that would be super cool. Yep. Uh, I, I want to see like, uh, just like overall more crimes and, and maybe more civilians around the city. Like that would just be nice to see because we never see that. And uh, I don't know what else I, I would really want uh, in terms of villains. I just want to see like more obscure villains that we haven't seen in the Arkham games because it's always the same villains, right? It's always yeah. Harley, Joker, Two Face, Penguin, uh, Riddler, and then you got like the sometimes that Zaz, sometimes Hugo Strange and Rachel Ghoul, but those are just like in Arkham City. Like in Arkham Knight, I can't even think of like one original villain besides Professor Pig and uh, Man Bat. Wait, and, what about the Arkham Knight? That's a brand okay. new original villain, oh, never yeah, before I'm sorry. seen. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> brand new, brand new character here. Jeez. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of like, in terms of like the next Batman game, I really want to see new obscure villain, uh, obscure villains. Like maybe, uh, I don't know, like that one bunny chick from 2011. We're already gonna probably get Court of Owls, so that's really good. Uh -huh. That's a good start. And uh, I mean, judging from like some of the leaks that probably aren't true now because the game's probably rebooted it looked like they were going for really That's really crazy doing. villains and yeah. the only real character that was back that we can recognize is the joker which would have been really weird but it would be awesome as well to see more uh batman lore being used in these games yeah i remember um i i think it was two or so years ago I was told that there was like Tweedledee and Tweedledum in the game, and I was like, yeah. "Are you fucking serious?" But this was like from a rel my reliable like source that I really trusted, and uh, so they were definitely going that route. And I think that's the thing that's interesting is that in this new game, I think they're going to borrow things. The Court of Owls, I, you know, that's what they had in that pr that previous game with Damian Wayne. It was there. The Court of Owls was there. Talon was there. Oh, okay. That was one of the villains that I saw in the images. That I think that game's rebooted now. But my point is, they're going to be borrowing things from that game. In other words, you, they're not just going to scrap it entirely. They're going to say, well, we like having these obscure villains. We don't like the Damien Wayne part, maybe. Uh, so let's go back to Bruce Wayne. So that's a huge change, right? But yeah. let's maybe keep some of the more apocalyptic, dark imagery, maybe. I don't know. Maybe let's keep 
uh, this female black mask, potentially. Maybe let's keep Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and these other really obscure villains that are... Tweedledee and Tweedledum is more like a Vertigo thing, but it's with under the DC umbrella. But anyway, yeah. um, very, very interesting. So I think that they're... You know, it's really something that they could look at in terms of incorporating those more obscure villains, definitely. I, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing some of the old villains return as well, because, I mean, Two-Face, if it is going to be a game before Asylum and after City, that means, you know, or, uh, or after Origins, that means in between uh, one of those storylines, he becomes Two-Face, and I would want to see that transformation, or at least his first, like, crime or something. Uh, anything like that would be really cool. But, like, out, out of all of the things I want to see in the next game, uh, new villains that I've never seen before in a Batman game is something I want to see. For sure. And in terms of characters, I think that they can go way, way more in terms of Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah. Actually following his life interactions with, you know, so sort of taking note of what Telltale did, I think, would be really, really smart in terms of incorporating the duality of Bruce Wayne and Batman. The Arkham games haven't done a very good job of that. Mm. They've just very much so been go here, 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 and it takes place in one night. I understand that. But I just think that the scope of the Arkhamverse is, is kind of just limited in a sense right now because you can't go into the future. You're constantly dealing retrospectively with prequels. is the only thing that you can do, first of all. Second of all you really have this formula that people are expecting that you can mix up a great deal if you start over. Now, the Court of Owls, one thing that's interesting about that is how they could interact with other villains like the Joker. That would be super cool. I mean, really, really cool because they're polar opposites, you know, the Joker. Yeah. And, um, so I think a lot of people would maybe want to see a new Batman universe that actually doesn't feature... Uh, maybe the Joker at all. That could be something that people would maybe want to see. Personally, I think that he should be in there, at least for one of the games, but, you know, maybe if you kill him off in Arkham City, don't bring him back for the next one. It made sense in Night, but, you know, that could be something worth looking at. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just for this next game, I feel like they're taking risk and they're thinking about what is different and what they want to do that's different compared to the other games and what they can actually change in between these games to actually make it revolutionary because if you look at most of the Arkham games, I, I don't want to say they're the same because they have different stories, but most of what you do in those games are the same. You go to one location, you do this, and you do this, and you do this, just fight, 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 and then solve some riddlers, puzzles, and then you're done. And then, mm -hmm. you know, that's basically it. And for their game, I feel like, and I want them to be doing something different in terms of how the story flows. I want it to be like, you know, not like Spider-Man PS4, but that would be a good foundation to build off of. Because going around, you know, the first mission being uh, stopping one guy and then you're Peter Parker just the next second, That's that was interesting. That yep. gave me something to actually be invested in the story with. But with uh, Batman and stuff like... Is there a dog outside? <laughs> what is that? I don't, I don't know. It's not my dog. My dog's looking it's not at the your window. Dog? Like, what, no, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Maybe it has Anyhow. rabies. It sounds like it. Sorry, continue. <laughs> uh, well, uh, so I just want to see more of like Bruce Wayne's story, more of Bruce Wayne's tale, especially if it's still before he dies, if it's before Arkham City. I want to see how this Bruce Wayne interacts with the world. Maybe we can actually see Lucius Fox finally in actually the Arkham games. And then we can see Alfred more in live action. Jesus Christ, this dog. <laughs> And honestly, I want to see Robin, too. If Robin's not in yeah. this game, I might be really disappointed. Yeah, so more more like, character. I think Barbara Gordon, uh, Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, you can incorporate oh, yeah. uh, more solo missions where you actually play as those characters. Maybe, go, you know, they go off and have their own side missions instead of just being 15-minute DLC. Actually have them incorporated in the story much more, hanging out in the Batcave in Wayne Manor. That would be really cool. That customization idea that you had is really good. And uh, having the story take place over multiple days, incorporating civilians. I mean, there's so many different things that they can do. And mm -hmm. like I said, the Arkhamverse, it kind of has, the Arkham Games has this formula that doesn't include any of those things. That doesn't include yeah. uh, taking place over multiple days. That doesn't, you know, have any of this. And that's why I think that maybe starting over would be really cool. And then also, you have this concern like, well, 
when we see the penguin, maybe he'll die. Maybe he'll, maybe he won't. The Joker probably won't kill him again because they did that in the last universe. But they could maybe kill a different villain or a different hero or you know that kind of thing. Right. Right. Um, so I think that there's so many possibilities, and um, you know it'd be really interesting to see what they could what they could do with it. So. You know, Absolutely. we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, thank you for uh, coming on. And uh, also, be sure to tune in to his channel. We're about to talk, record again, talk about Rocksteady. And be sure to tune in to his channel to see that video as well. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, once again, thanks for coming on the channel. Yep. All yeah, right. See you guys in the next one. And I'll see you guys in my video. Go subscribe to me because I'm better than Slickmo. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Bye.